Luma has recently introduced a keyframe feature in their image to video model, and it works exceptionally well. If you're not familiar with Luma AI, it's currently the most realistic and advanced AI video generator available. They've added an exciting feature, keyframing within the image to video tool. I'll demonstrate how to use this tool, but first, let's check out some example videos. In the first example, a nebula image is used as the starting frame, transitioning to a close-up of an eye. This creates a remarkable zoom-in effect making the close-up look fantastic. The second example shows an animation where a character transforms from a horned witch into an evil angel. The misty background and the smoothness of the animation are truly impressive. In the third example, images taken before and after sunset are used to create a time-lapse of a colorful sunset. The result is so realistic that it's hard to believe it's AI-generated. Another example features a plain ground image transitioning to the same place covered in snow, resulting in a beautiful hyperlapse from spring to winter. We also have an example with an astronaut. The first frame is in water, and the second is in space. The transition between these backgrounds is seamless, enhancing the overall visual effect. There's an interesting example of a time-lapse of the Eiffel Tower, transitioning from day to night. Although there are minor issues, such as the sky disappearing and people appearing unexpectedly, it's still impressive for those unfamiliar with AI. The final example shows a lady appearing from smoke with a very smooth transition. Now, let's learn how to use this feature. Start by visiting the Luma AI website, you can find the URL in the description below. The free plan allows you to generate up to 30 videos per month. To use the keyframe feature, click on the image icon. You will be prompted to upload an initial image. First, I will select two images for keyframing. Initially, I have chosen this image, and now I will select a second image for the end frame. Essentially, we have selected two images, and now I will write the prompt, such as a line face made of fire. In a few seconds, you will see the creation. Click on the download button below to download it. You can also click on the extend button to add more clips or extend the video. You can add another photo into this keyframe. This is the full video. As you can see, the two images are beautifully combined, and the transition is perfect. The images blend smoothly into each other. So far, the results are impressive. Let's try another example. Here, I am going to upload an image of a girl dancing and another image of the girl standing near a waterfall. We will blend these two images and see the result. These are the results. While not as impressive as the first example, they are still quite good. However, the first image is not as visible and the main focus is on the second image. The transition is smooth, and it looks good overall. Let's try another example. This time, I'll use two images, one of a lightning strike on the left side and another of a man on a horse. Let's see the result. You can see how beautifully the two images are blended. The horse is moving, and the cinematic lightning effect, camera movement, and everything looks perfect in this clip. Let's try another prompt. A girl dancing with smoke behind her. Let's see the results. Here, you can see how one image of a dreamy, quantum-like floor and another image of the girl are mixed together. The transition is beautiful and looks perfect. This software is excellent, and I suggest you try it. Another example I can show you is a girl in the ocean with a whale. We blend these images, and you can see this magical transition. It looks amazing and is just perfect. In the blink of an eye, it has created this beautiful transition. This keyframe feature is really fun to experiment with, especially using your own images. You can transform yourself into anything and find inspiration from social media platforms where people are sharing incredible creations. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up.